Hello, hello. Hello, me. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Fine, fine. Excellent. I was worried about the rain, but thank God it's not that hard. Is it raining near your houses? No, teacher. Not yet. Oh, no yet. <laughs> Queriendo comenzar a llover, que rato estaba de tronar y queriendo llover, pero no, nada. Sí, la sé. Yeah, but here, here in San Salvador, it's raining very hard. And I was like listening to, to all these tremors and the things that they had, like the, the, the thunders. But I thought it was going to be worse. Mis, well, una yeah. pregunta. Pregúnteme. Este, ¿En qué momento? Yo estaba intentando hacer lo de la, lo de que nos dejó el trabajo, pero tengo una duda. ¿Cuándo utilizamos el from, que significa desde, creo, y el of, que significa de? ¿En qué momento puedo usar cada uno? Depending on what you are talking about. What, what were you talking about? ¿Qué es lo que querías expresar? Ah... Um, Because they don't mean they don't mean the same. So we need to know what what is the idea that you want to express. Ah, so, yo quería, uh -huh. quería poner ella. Eh, quiero ver. Ella termin, terminó sus estudios de high school, pero uh -huh. que, que yo pensé que era el O. Oh. In that Pero case, in that case, you don't use. In that case, you don't use any of them because you say she finished her high school studies. Only that. You don't say because we think the same in Spanish, right? Sus estudios de bachillerato, and you want to put every single word. And in that case, it is not necessary. You say she finished her high school studies. Only that. No, es necesario, eh. no. Oh, in some cases, we, we are the ones that complicate the sentence. Sé que no lo the, that's why I said you need to analyze exactly what you want to say and not to translate exactly from Spanish because that's a problem. In Spanish, we put in everything, la no sé qué, el no sé qué, el no sé, and we complicate oh. a lot in Spanish. But in English, there are many ways that you can say the same thing in a simpler sentence without complicating that much the language. The problem is when you want to translate exactly from Spanish, because imagine that you want to say, for example, the flower, uh, la, la flores de la mesa. And you say, the, all the flowers of the table. And you say, and you can say the table flowers. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> sentence. So it is very Asia complicated. <laughs> yeah. If you say, uh, you can say the Natalie teacher, because you say in, in Spanish, la teacher Natalie. And that's why you put that on everything in English. And that's another problem, right? But I can send you a little document. I think I have it right there. I have to look for it. I have a, a document on which you use of, from, to. So in the different cases that you use it. Okay, I am going to look for it and I'm going to share it with you. Well, with the group, so because it can be helpful for everybody. Le voy a mandar un documento ahí donde está el uso de from, the to, the of, y hay ejemplos. Okay. So everybody can study that. Eso es beneficioso para todos, no solo para uno. But it's okay. good that you make okay, a question, thanks. that it's very nice, very, very good. Teacher. Yes. I have a question about final exam. Tell me the number two uh-huh um, let me see let me enter to the platform because i was not there and what is your question and if you can if you have it there and you can share the screen in, perfect in the part two uh-huh do you have it open um, 
because if you have it open, you can share the screen and I can help from there. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Here, the number, part two, number two. Okay, is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? Who is? Who is he waiting for? ¿A quién está esperando? Who is he waiting for? Ahí tendríamos que poner, is he waiting? Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Type it, type it to see if it's correct. Waiting. There you go. Who is he waiting? Click on enviar. Ah, okay. There okay. you go. In that okay. case, it's like, ¿a quién está esperando? Who is he waiting mm -hmm. for? And in that case, the for is like, uh, like, ¿a quién está esperando? ¿A quién está in that case? ¿O por quién está esperando? It, that would be like the translation into Spanish. Oh, a quien, a quien está esperando. There you go. Mm. Who is he waiting for? Good. So, okay, thank don't, you. Don't ask for the certificate. <laughs> good, very good. Okay, if you have any other question, remember that uh, I am here for you to ask me. Well, welcome everybody. For me, it's a pleasure to have you here. For me, it's a great happiness to share another night with all of you. Remember, tomorrow it's our final class. We're going to have these mini presentations about the timeline. If you have any question about the timeline that you are creating, we can also check it, or you can also send it to me for me to check it out a little bit, right? If you are sure about what you have, and uh, or if you have any question, let me know and we can check it out. The idea of the, of the evaluation is for sure that you present a short idea about the timeline exactly like the one we did yesterday, right? In yesterday's class, we were also talking about family members, right? We were talking about different relationships in, uh, in the family, and we were talking about the possessive forms as well. So we talk about the possessive forms, we talk about the family members, we talk about uh, the different uh, couples in the family, like grandmother, grandfather, aunt and uncle, right? The different relationships we have. Yesterday, I asked you a little bit, think about your family. Think about the members that you have in your family. We are going to do a very short description of each of the families. I don't need you to make a big family tree, right? I don't need you to make one big, big, big explanation of your family. But what I need you to do, and we're going to do it right now here, what I need you to do is to think about the people in your house, your close family, right? And for sure, we are going to explain it a little bit like this. We're going to say, right? In my family, you say, in my family, there are, and you're going to tell me how many members. There are four, five, six members, right? In my family, there are three members. And I am going to say, who are the members in my family? I am going to explain my family, right? And I'm going to say, my husband, my husband, Alex, my son, Alex. <laughs> and my pet, right? That's my family, right? That's everything that I have here at home, right? So including me, there will be four members. I will see my husband, Alex, me, my son, Alex, and my pet. So I have four members in my family. I need you to create your short definition of your family. How many members do you have there? And explain a little bit about the relationship that you have with them. Or another form, if you don't want to mention names, for example, you can say in my house, or you can say, let's use the family, right? 
in my family, there are, let's say five members. My mother, my father, my husband, and my siblings. For example, if you don't want to specify a little bit on your family, you can say, in my family, there are five members, my mother, my father, my husband, and my siblings, right? My siblings are hermano y hermana. If you have two, for example, you can use it like this. Or you can specify and you say, and my two siblings to make it specific because you can have more. Siblings pueden ser desde uno hasta 40. No sé cuántos hermanos tenemos por ahí. Vea. But if you want to specify, you say my two siblings. And in that case, you know that it's a boy and a girl. Here you go. I am going to make it a, a bit smaller. So we can actually see it. There you go. Hey, sorry. There you go. So these are the two mini examples that I share. You can use the first example with the names or the second example just with the members. Okay, so it has to be something short. It has to be something simple, right? Don't complicate that much. And when you have it, let me know because we are going to use it. Do you have your definition, people? Yes, teacher, no teacher? No yes. teacher. No yes, yet. teacher. <laughs> no yet, no yet. <laughs> I have my definition, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank because you. Because my family is little. Hey, <laughs> that's very nice. When your family yes. families are short are very easy for the example. <laughs> yes. Uh, in my family, there are three members, my husband, Walter, me, and my pet, Chico. Ah, Chico is a, it's a parakeet. Yes, uh, it's a dog. Ah, it's a, it's a dog. Day. Yes, it's a mixed Chihuahua with cocker. And... Okay, <laughs> Chihuahua with cocker. Cocker, Chico. <laughs> ah, es ser como chiquito peludo. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what a curious thing <laughs> okay so if you have your definitions ready Vilma gave us the example you are going to go to work with your group and I need you to explain the different members of your family to your group okay so okay. let's go to the different sections and there in the meeting group you can show Chico so people can meet it mm -hmm. okay go ahead Accept my invitation. We are going to go to the groups and describe your family to your group. There you go. Accept my invitation, people. And we are going to go to the mini rooms. Thank you very much. I am missing three people, only two to accept my invitations. Nancy Gutierrez and Rosario. Thank you very much. I am missing, okay. Nancy was the last one. Right now, students are going to be discussing a little bit about their family members in the 
mini groups. So we are going to go and listen how they describe their family members, okay? When we come back, we are going to do a little exercise with relationships. Let's go and check what students are doing in the different rooms. Yo acabo de entrar. Yo acabo, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Could you explain? <laughs> Juan was like, ah. <laughs> yes. Solo uh, porque andamos uniformados. <laughs> Esa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what we are doing in this case, Mr. Juan, is that we are describing the members of the family. Okay. So you have to talk about the different people that you have and that you live with. Okay. That's what we are going to do. And this time, the, um, we live alone, <laughs> only with the pets. <laughs> oh, so you live alone. My son go out. Oh, they work out of Santana. Um, yeah. go out, uh, they work in some Sonate and another work in another uh, city. Yeah. And I live. It can be a uh, two person plus the pets okay yeah. and what is the type of pet that you have is it a cat or a ah, dog it's a dog chujin it's Chuji. a chujin <laughs> yeah it's a chihuahua it's a, it's a chow chow oh okay there we go <laughs> Very good. That, what, a uh, what a curious name the, the 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 other is oh it's a program a chinese program my son Put the name so many <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, I, I bought the Juchin when it was a little, yeah. And when it was son, a puppy. Yeah, puppy, yeah. And my son said, no, the name is Chuchin. Okay. Chuchin. <laughs> what is yeah. the name of the Chucho? Chuchin. Chuchin. <laughs> Chuchin is the name. Uh, I don't remember. It's a. Uh, it's a pet too in a some program, Chinese program. In a Chinese program. Mm, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you have two members in your family, Chun Chin uh, and you. Chun Chin and Kala. Kala. Is ah, a, Kala. A, yes, Kala is another one. Yeah. Oh my God. So Kala there is are... a pastor alemán. Oh, a German mm -hmm. shepherd. Yeah, German shepherd. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you have three members in your family, it's Kala, Chun Chin, and you. And yeah. That's it. The <laughs> Maris. How many members do you have in your family? In my family, there are uh, three members with me, my husband and my daughter. My husband's name is Adonis and my daughter's name is Alaya Sofia. Alaya, what a beautiful name. Thank you. And Adonis, is he like this Greek sculpture? <laughs> Adonis. Adonis, Adonis era el, el más guapo de la antigüedad, right? Adonis. Ah, but for the Maris, una real para mí. Yeah, so you see, for the Maris, it's an Adonis too. Así es. Oh, very nice. Rosario, tell me about your family. Good evening, teacher. Hi. In my family, there are the eight members. Eight. And my mom. Eight. Uh -huh. My mother, Tere. My father, Salvador. My children are Salvador e Jeff and Jefferson. Uh -huh. My dog, uh, my dog, Bill. Uh -huh. uh, my cat, uh, Tom. Um, el nombre de de persona que tiene la, la gata es Ángela <laughs> tomen Ángela <laughs> and you and you okay eight members in your, in your family that it's pretty awesome thank you Rosario for sharing that's a very yeah. nice thing you see you have a very big family so I need you to discuss is it good to have a big family or a small family? What are the advantages and the disadvantages? Okay, ¿cuáles son las ventajas y las desventajas? 
nos quedamos discutiendo eso. I am going to go and visit another group. Okay. 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 What are the advantages and the disadvantages? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> 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 Well, did you finish describing your family? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. perfect. I'm going to ask the next group. You can continue with the gossip, okay? Uh, <laughs> Ella dice que de los adoptó. <risa> son, son hijos adoptados. Ok. Hello. Hello. Como es mejor que los hijos. Ah. Sí, es que las mascotas también son parte de la familia, entonces esos van enumerados. Yeah, for sure. They are. Look at Kiara. Kiara is my dog, right? But when my son, for example, he stays to sleep in my uh, mother-in-law's house, she cries for him. And she's like, oh. And I said like, no, Kiara, mira, no va a venir. Va a venir mañana porque se quedó en pijamada. Oh. And she cries for him. So they are like little brothers, the two of them. So Arnoldo, they are part of the family. Do you have pets, Arnoldo? Sí, son um, two, two dogs. Two dogs. Okay. Sí. What what type of dogs? Hi. What type of dogs? De qué raza son? Uh, un pitbull y un doberman. Ah. What a beautiful thing. The Dobermans. I love the Dobermans because they are very big. <laughs> and the pit bulls, they are very nice. I love pit bulls. Bien, es bien tranquilo. It, dos, dos. It, it all depends on how you raise them. Because if you make them violent, for sure they are going to be violent. But if you make them nice and, and sociable, they are pretty good pets. Well, did you finish discussing about your family? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so let's go to the main room then. Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Question me, Mr. Carlos. Eh, cuando son, eh, por ejemplo, varios hijos, son con S. Ah, if all of them are boys, yes. Perdón. Si todos son varones, sí. No, son varones y niñas. Ah, ok, you say, I have, and you can say, how many do you have? Perdón. How many, how many kids do you have? Eh, no. Two son, two, two, two boys three. and and three three daughter, daughter is okay. In that case, you can say and my children. You can say in order to specify that you have many, or and you can say children. yes, and my five children, and you can my specify five three. children, sus cinco hijos, uh -huh. and in this case, you can specify. Three daughters and three uh, songs. Um, uh, three, three, and uh -huh. three. Two daughters and three songs. You can specify. But the idea is that you say, and my two children, my three children, my four children. Okay. Because okay. if you use the word siblings, it means for hermanos. Okay. But in this case, uh -huh. como son sus hijos, you say my children. My children. Okay. Yes. How Thank many you. how many children do you have, Mr. Carlos? Uh, three. Three. Yes. It's one boy and two girls, or one. Uh, or how is my boy? Uh, is two boys. Uh, I. A and, niña. And one girl. And one where? One and, girl. And girl. one girl. Girl. Yes. Two boys and one girl. And Emperatriz, okay. do you have children? 
No, I I have two daughters. You have two daughters. Hey, that's yeah. very good. Two daughters. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful thing. Two daughters. Who has the biggest number of children here? ¿Quién tiene el mayor número de hijos? Veamos. Hijos, hijos, no perrijos ni gatijos, ¿ok? Hijos, Marimba, dice. Yeah, de marimbita, de soccer team. <laughs> Ay, quería dar cuenta. Yeah, Toda I, la marimba. I, I want to see. You see, in your case, you have three. Eh, Emperatriz has two. Rosario has two, right? Elizabeth, how many children do you have? Any. 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 No hay, no hay todavía descendencia. Ivy, no one, right? One daughter. One daughter eh, yeah. Vilma? I don't have. You don't have yet. Oh, yes, you have your, yeah, your, yeah. your little dogs. It's true. Yes. Arnoldo? Um, three children. Three children. Okay, vamos empate. Máximo? I don't have teacher. You don't have. Okay. No. So, uh, Mr. Juan? Two children. You have two children, right? So, the winner is Carlos and Arnoldo. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos and Arnoldo, right? Because they have a lot. Cecilia, do you have children? Uh, three. Three. Hey, we have a tight team here. <laughs> Very good. A Thai team. Let's see. Ana Marisa, do you have children? Miss Ana Marisa, do you have children? Three. Three. Three children. Hey, ting, 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 ting. We have, <laughs> we have four winners here, you see. Sonia? Es que tengo melos. Por eso. Ah, hey, melos. You have twins. Oh, my God. I really admire you. Definitely. I have one, but I get crazy with one. Imagine with two. So am I. <laughs> yeah, I admire you. <laughs> Momento de admiración <laughs> for the twins. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yeah, si no hay que hacer con uno, me imagino con dos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, but I, I imagine that it's nice, right? Al dos por uno, ya es tú, de un solo. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, right? That would be very difficult. Okay, my dear students. Here I have some uh, relationships with people, with famous people, right? Do you know what is the relationship that they have among themselves? What is the relationship that they have? What is the relationship with Michael Douglas and Catherine Sita Jones? Are they brothers, sisters? They are married. Husband. They so, are married. They a are a no, couple. Real. Good. They are a couple. What about Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias? Father and, father son. and son. They, they are some. father and son. What about Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? Father and son. Mm, I don't know who is Francis <laughs> Ford Coppola. <laughs> who is Francis Ford Coppola, people? I don't know. A producer. It's a producer. Maybe cost. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he's a producer, right? He's a, it's a film producer. But uh, Nicolas Cage is the nephew of Francis mm -hmm. Ford Coppola. And what about Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine? Father and son. Annette and Shirley? And, mother. <laughs> Grandmother. Mother and son. Grandmother and mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are sisters in law. Oh. They are sisters in law. I didn't know before either. Don't worry mm -hmm. <laughs> about these actors and actresses and the the relationship with Francis Ford Coppola that I didn't know much about him before. But now I know that he's a very famous film producer. And for sure, my respect for Mr. Nicolas Cage. That is a, he is a great actor. Let's see. I have here what we were doing yesterday, right? The little definitions that we were practicing yesterday with the apostrophe. And I have here, Joseph is Maria's uncle. And when you transform that, you say Maria is Joseph's niece, right? You are saying the same relationship in a different way. Here I have, Liz is married to Peter. How can you transform this sentence to make it different? 
Peter is Liz's husband. Peter is Liz's husband. Very good job, Miss Evie. I am going to write it here. Peter is, and I have here, Liz's husband. There you go. What about the next one? I am single. How can I'm you not tell married. Me? <laughs> I'm not married, right? <laughs> I am single. Right. No, my husband no, is not here. I <laughs> know I am not. I am not married, right? That that is the form that you can use. I am not married. There you go. We have two children. What How can you say that in a different form? Son and daughter, it says. We have two children. Uh -huh. You have? How can you make it? We have... Have a son. Very good. And a daughter. daughter. And a daughter, right? We have a son and a daughter. Good. What about the next one? My wife's father is a painter. And you need to use father-in-law. Father-in-law is a painter. My father-in-law is a painter, right? So you say, my father-in-law is a pen. It's a painter, a right? My father-in-law is a painter. Very good. And what about the next one? Michael doesn't have a job right now. And what we are going to use for this one, let me just move it a little bit up. We have look for. Damaris, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. How yeah. do you pronounce um, Peter is Liz's husband? Liz. Liz, ajá, o sea, porque lleva el apóstrofe con la S y la Z a la par, o cuando yeah, lleva correct. una S, digamos, por ejemplo, mi nombre, Damaris, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se pronunciaría si yo quiero contractar el verbo is después de mi nombre? Okay. Es, ¿Cómo uh -huh. se hace? Gracias. No, that's good. It's a very good question. Important. Remember that the apostrophe is not the verb, right? The apostrophe is just the possession. Because I will say here, for example, in the case of your name, you just put the apostrophe. And I will say Damaris' sister, right? And you can say, for example, I am going to include it here. She is Damaris' sister, right? Here, in this case, when you use it, you don't use Damaris' the double S, right? You say she is Damaris' sister. Right, and in this case, as you can see here, you have the verb to be, you have the verb to be of the sentence, right? She is, and in this case, the possessive is to express that is the sister of Damaris, right? In this case, that is the use that you have for the possessive, right? It is not the contraction of the verb. And you say she is Damaris' sister, right? And in this case, we add the S because it's a Z. Si esta fuera una S, no tendríamos que poner la S de nuevo. Pero como es el sonido de la Z, Z, you say Liz's husband. Liz's husband. That would be mm -hmm. the pronunciation of this one. And in this one, if you have the, the S in the name, in the case of Damaris, Carlos, right? You can say Carlos' brother. Say Carlos' brother. And you know that it means the possession. It is the same, but you don't use another S. That is the form. Did I answer your question, Damaris? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Let's see. Here we go. Michael doesn't have a job right now. Look for. What do you use here? How do you transform that one? Michael, look for a job. Uh -huh. Michael is looking for, for a job right now. Is looking for a job right now. Michael is looking for a job right now. 
right? That is an action that he is doing. It doesn't mean that he is actually looking for a job in the moment, but it's an action that is taking place during this specific time of, of his life. You can say, for example, I am working in some projects right now, but it doesn't mean that you are doing the project on the moment, right? También el present progressive lo ocupamos para actividades que están tomando lugar en este momento de su vida. You can say, I am working on my thesis project. I am working on my career. I am working on a different uh, plan for my life. And it doesn't mean that you are actually doing that in the moment. Different is, for example, if I say, what are you doing in this moment? I am taking a class. I am listening. I am speaking. I am studying English. Those are activities that you are doing in the moment, right? Imagine that I say, hey, what are you doing? I am dancing, you say, right? But if you say, I am taking salsa lessons, right? Maybe it's in this moment of your life. This is another use for the continuous forms of ING. And I have some other examples right here. Let me just erase this one. And it says, Let's see, Elizabeth, can you help me to read it along with Juan? ¿Cómo dice que dijo? Ah, ¿qué pasó? Ah, ah welcome back. <laughs> Elizabeth, help me to read it with Juan. You are Rita and he's going to be Sue. This is Rita. Yes. Tell me about his brother and sister, Sue. And Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what, she do? what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. Um, what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interest in interesting 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 <laughs> interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much, Evie. You saved Mr. Juan because he's outside his house, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Interesting. Interesting. Miss, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what does she do? What? Uh, acá dice, what does what she do? What does she do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does he do? Uh -huh. Good. In this case, because you have, you are, you are doing a question, right? What does she do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? But as you have does here, for sure the verb is in the normal form because this is the main verb, right? The auxiliary verb, sorry. And this is the main verb. But if in the sentence you have the auxiliary does for the questions, the second verb, it's normal. And if you say, what does she do? In, for example, if you ask me, hey, hey, that's a Nati, right? I, I know her, she's my friend. And another person can say, what does she do? What will you answer? Si alguien le pregunta, hey, what does she do? She's Acerca a de mí. She's a teacher. She teaches classes. She teaches English, right? And if I say, hey, that's uh, Miss Vilma. What does she do? What is her profession? What does she do in her life? Do you She's know? She's an import agent. She's a? An import agent. She's an import agent, right? She's an import agent. 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 Very good. So that is the, the, the meaning of this question. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Okay. Did I answer your question, Elizabeth? Thanks. Elizabeth? Yes, me. Okay, good. So Thanks. 
in this case, you are talking, and this is what I was explaining, right? Aquí estamos hablando de proyectos que están tomando lugar en la vida de las personas. No precisamente que lo están haciendo en este mismo momento. Porque la hermana dice, what is the, what is the sister doing? Working on a very secret project. She's working on a very secret project, right? And for sure, you cannot visit them because uh, she's not working in the United States this month because she is doing a project, right? So in your life, what are you doing right now? You can say, I, I am learning English at night. I am working on my career. I am developing new skills. I am learning new things. So those are the things that you are doing with your life. And for sure, you are specifying on different things. But I want to ask you, what do your family members do? Can you give me one example of one person in your family? What do your family members do? Can I have one example from the class? Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, it's for a. Uh, uh, okay, my in my family there are four members. Uh huh. My husband Jose Luis, me, my mother, my daughter, my daughter Sofia, and my second daughter. Her name is Daniela. Uh -huh. And my pet. Lassie. Lassie. And tell me about your husband. What does he do? Uh, he he's a uh, uh, se um, manager of um, cartographer manager. Oh, hey, that's <laughs> what an interesting profession. Yes. Cartographo. Uh-huh. Hey, I need to look for that in, in, in Google. How do you say that in, in English? But he's a manager. Yes. Oh. Uh, jefe de campo, no sé, a cartograf de cator cartografía. Okay. We are, going to, we are going to investigate that one. Ya lo vamos a investigar como lo decimos in English. Okay. New question for the teacher. New word for me. That's very nice. So he's a manager, right? He works on that, managing and working with people. What about, uh, let's see, Miss Rosemary, what does your mother do? What does your mother do, Rosemary? A sleeping. <laughs> no, that is what she is doing right now. I love that you are very honest. The questions are different and check on the questions. If I say, mm -hmm. if I say, for example, what is your mother doing right now? Okay. La pregunta sería, ¿qué está haciendo su mamá ahorita? And it's, she's sleeping. But if I say, mm -hmm. if I say on the other question, what does your mother do? It's like, ¿qué hace su mamá? ¿Qué hace para vivir? O sea, ¿qué hace en, en su día? Ah, pues no sé cómo se dice ama de casa. She's a housewife. She's, She's a, a housewife. Housewife. She's How a housewife. She's a housewife. Good. She has the most difficult job of all the jobs. <laughs> yeah. Because it's very difficult. Mr. Maximo. Eh, what does your uh, wife do? My wife is business administration. She's a business administrator, right? Sonia, what does your husband do? He's a driver. He's a driver, right? That is different. But if I say, what is Maximo doing right now? What is Maximo doing right now? He's taking class. He's taking the class. He's receiving taking, the class. <laughs> he's receiving the class, right? He's receiving the class. Yeah. Pay attention. Now, he's paying attention, <laughs> right? 
-hmm. He's writing down everything, right? Those mm -hmm. are the different questions, right? And this is what you are doing. And we were doing yesterday, right? In the case of Rosemary, you say, uh, she's my mother, or you say my mother is a, and you can specify, I am going to make it here. And for sure, the question that I did, the answer can be, she is my mother and she is a housewife, okay? That can be a way for you to report, right? When a person says, what does someone in a specific does in your family, right? In the case of this, the examples that I am giving you, we are using present continuous, but we are using present continuous in a different way, right? If you say, are you living at home? Yes, I am. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is, right? Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Are you studying next month? Yes or no? Yes, are you? I yes, I am, right? Yes. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, yes. yes, yes I, I am. am working. Say, yes, I yes. am, right? <laughs> Are you sleeping early today? Yes. No. no, I'm not. No, I'm not, right? <laughs> you always say yes. before class, after yes. class. Mm -hmm. uh, before, before class, I sleep. <laughs> ah, before class, you were sleeping, yes, right? Oh. I yeah. Ah, las ocho de la clase. Okay. And if I say, where are you working now? ¿Dónde estás trabajando ahora? Where are you working now? What is your brother doing these days? ¿Qué está haciendo en estos días, right? No específicamente, ¿qué está haciendo ahorita? What, are, what is he doing these days? ¿Qué está haciendo en estos días? Who are your parents visiting this week? Right? ¿A quién van a ir a visitar o a quién eh, planean visitar esta semana? Who are your parents visiting this week? And this is the question that you have on the example eh, that Maximo was asking at the beginning of the class, right? And you use the WH question, the verb to be, the subject, and the ING form. Right, that's the way you create these sentences. And for the yes, no questions, you say the verb to be, the subject, the ing forms, right? The verb to be, the subject, the ing form, and the complement, right? And in this one, you have the wh question, the verb to be, the subject, and the ing form. If I say, um, uh, for example, what are you working now? And I say, and I ask this question to Evie, what are you working now? I'm working on, on manufacturing. What? I don't know. I'm sleepy. <laughs> so, chop, chop. Wake up, wake up. Cargando. <laughs> I'm working on, on a manufacturing fabric. Factory, factory. Merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandising, right? You say factory because fabric is, esos son amigos falsos en English. Tela. Mm -hmm. Fabric is tela mm -hmm. and factory is fabrica. Okay. So this is the way you use in this case the, um, the ING forms, right? The ING forms is in this way. So uh, when you say, are you living at home? What are the answers that you can have? Yes, I am, or? No, I am, no, not. I am not, because this is just no question, right? But if you use the WH forms, like what are you working now? Exactly as what Evie says, I am working in a manufacturing factory, say, or I am not working, I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? What is the answer? She's, she's rest. traveling. Yes. <laughs> she's tra <Yes>. he's resting <laughs> right, right now. <laughs> are, who are your parents visiting this weekend? And in the example, they are visiting my grandmother. My parents, mm -hmm. I think they are visiting my sister. They are going to visit I am visiting me. my mom. Hey, I am visiting my mom this week. That's pretty awesome. So in this case, that is the form that we use 
for this type of examples with the present continuous. Different from the one that you have learned before, like I am cooking, I am working, I am showering, right? This is another usage for the ing forms. And I have one example right here. Let's see, yes. I have two people here, right? Doing different things. And it says, hi, Stephanie, what? Si a... Ajá, ya vimos la estructura. La WH what question. Are is you doing? What are you doing? Very good. El verbo to be. What, are, what you doing? are you doing? In the ING form, right? What are you doing? And it says, hi, Mark. I, I, am, I am standing. standing. I am standing. Mm -hmm. I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yes, I. Wait, it is moving. It is moving. Mm -hmm. It's moving now. Thank goodness. Right? And here you have Marcy. And it says, Marcy, how are, are you? How are you and Justin? Enjoy. Enjoying. 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 How are you enjoying? Enjoying your shopping tree. We. Uh, we are. We are. Having. We are. Having, we are having, right? We are having, we are having a lot of fun. A yes, no question. Are, are you, your is, brother. Is are, your brother. Um, your brother here, right? You say, uh, yes. is your yes. brother. Spending. Spending. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. He... He's buying. He's buying. He is buying. He's buying only one or two things. And look at the bags that he have here. He is buying <laughs> one or two things, right? <laughs> it's like you when you go to Dollar City. One or two <laughs> things. <laughs> Twenty dollars. <laughs> in things that are not in one dollar, right? Nada del Dollar City vale un dólar. <laughs> <laughs> And three and four. <laughs> three yeah. and four. He's buying one or two things, right? And that's all. And in this case, as you can see, we are using and we were using the ING forms in just no questions and also in WH forms. To finish with our topics of the module, we are going to check on the quantifiers. The quantifiers are the ones that specify quantities, as they say, but in a specific words when you don't have an exact number, right? It is like uh, the adverse of frequency that you say, always teacher, almost always, right? Hablamos de frecuencia, pero con unas palabras específicas porque no tenemos un número específico. Los quantifiers, hablamos de cantidades, pero no tenemos un número específico. You can say nearly all if I say, nearly all Salvadorians like pupusas. Because maybe there is one or two gringos that they don't like them. Ew, pupusas, mm -hmm. ew, I don't like them. We never know, right? And no, Americans love pupusas. When they come and visit El Salvador, they love pupusas. Mm -hmm. Or I can say, most Salvadorian families have an Australian dish. <laughs> yes or no? No tienen ustedes un vasito de Australia, un plato de Australia? Most Salvadorian yeah. families. Yes, I have. Yeah? yeah, most Salvadorian families. Nearly all Salvadorian families buy the bread on the street to the picky picky boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's an example because I say nearly all. Pueda que muchos solo van a la panadería. And I say, many, many houses in El Salvador have a chair with clothes. <laughs> many houses in El Salvador have a chair with clothes. A lot of houses in El Salvador have a television that doesn't work. But they are going to fix. Pero la van a mandar a arreglar. 
Yes. <laughs> it never happens. It never happens. Right? A lot of Salvadorian families have a lot of cell phones that don't work. But you keep them there just in case. Right? Ahí están en una bolsa guardadas. So these are quantifiers. If I say all the students in my class are very intelligent. For sure. <laughs> all the students in my class are really good looking. Todos son guapos, elegantes, right? Yes. Nearly all my students in the class do the homework. Porque hay uno o dos que no lo hacen. Ah, no. They all do the homework. <laughs> <laughs> so, most of my students finish the platform already. Those are examples yeah. of quantifiers, right? And it goes from 100 to zero. So you go all, nearly all, most, many, yeah. a lot of, yeah. some, not many, a few, few, yeah. and no one. Yeah. And as you can see, the quantifier is at the beginning of the sentence. And you have nearly all families have one child. A lot of families are smaller. A few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18, right? The quantifier is at the beginning of the sentence in most of the cases, right? In almost all the cases, the quantifier is at the beginning and then you have the complement of these uh, sentences. Is it clear the use of the quantifiers and what they mean? Yeah. Yes, no? Yeah. Hoy todos están yes, como con frío, no sé qué pasa. Yeah. Todos están así con frío, como, como los pollitos. <laughs> so, si ya está claro como el agua, veamos si es cierto. Let's transform the percentages into a quantifier. Here we have the quantifiers and we are going to transform the percentage. Which quantifier will you use for 50%? ¿Cuál quantifier ocuparían para el 50%? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. So you can say, in China, a lot of women. A lot of women. A lot of women. women. Get, get married, married by, by the, the age. age of 22. What will be the quantifier for 87%? Most. Most. Most, right? Most. What? Most. How can you transform the sentence? In Australia. Most married. Most married couples have children. Most married couples have children, children. right? In Australia, most married couples have children. What about 0%? No one. No one. No one, right? No People. one. People. And in this case, if you say no one, you cannot say no one people. In this case, you say just no one. No one. In Australia, you say no one votes before the age of 18. In, Aust in Australia, <laughs> in the in, United in, States. In, in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. In the case of no one, es como que estuviéramos ocupando he, she, o it. El verbo cambia a tercera persona, porque es ninguno, ya sea ninguno ella, ninguno él. Okay, so that's why you say no one votes before the age of 18. What about 30%? What will be the quantifier for 30%? Not many. Not many, right? Or you can also you can also use like a, a, few? a few, right? A few. And you can say, if a few includes people, you say, a few. Of the people in, oh, well, in, the people case, a in few Germany people? live alone. A few people in Germany. in Germany live alone, right? A few people in Germany live alone. Or if you use some, for example, some people in Germany live alone. And 78%, 78, what will be 78%? Many. 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 
right? You can say many, and you can also use most, right? Many, let's say. Many American, American high school students have, students have jobs. Many American high school yeah. students have jobs. <coughs> before we finish, before we finish, can you give me one example about our country using a quantifier? Here I have some examples for you to take an idea. Give me one example about our country using quantifiers. I have some examples here for you. Mm. Invent one example. I gave you many before Podría. the topic. Uh -huh. Podría volver a poner la presentación donde están los quantifiers. <laughs> right here. Yeah, thank you. I need at least three people participating. Al menos all, tres. Salvadorian, all Salvadorian families take a coffee and bread at 3 p.m. <laughs> all Salvadorian families take coffee and bread at 3 p.m. Good example. Evie, you can go to sleep. Thank you for the example. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. You can go. Very good. I need three more volunteers. Go ahead. Para que todos nos vayamos a dormir. Volunteers. 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 Go ahead. Uh -huh. You can do it, people. Go ahead. Yo sé que podemos. Vamos. Nearly all English English corporativo student go to bed around 10 p.m. Very good sentence. Nearly all English corporativo students go to bed around 10. Mr. Maximo, go to bed. <laughs> Saving the group. I need one more volunteer. One more, one more. Vamos, salve, salvemos el semestre. You aquí. Salvadorian eat meat in the morning. Ah, okay. <coughs> wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. No, uh, few Salvadorian eat meat in the morning. That's a good eat thing. Meat in the morning. Only if it is chicharrón with the pupusa, right? That can be, <laughs> <laughs> that can count. Very good. Few Salvadorian eat meat in the morning. The last one. Who is going to be the last one? Arnoldo. <laughs> Para que no diga que no lo hizo participar ahora. <laughs> Hey, va. Tranquilito, hasta me vaya, ya me está metiendo. Give me one example. Nah, me. Nah, me teacha, no me agarre así. Ya aquí estamos en clase todo, vamos. Elizabeth. No, yo no. You know. ah. So you say, no one, no one in my class wants to give an example. That's another example. <laughs> A few uh, students uh, in my nearly, class. Uh -huh. Nearly all Salvadorian like avocado. Okay, nearly all Salvadorian like avocado, right? Or avocado, say. Avocado. Sería, vamos a ver si la puedo hacer. Go ahead. Sí, me, many Salvadorian eat pupusas. Many Salvadorian. You see that you can do the things, people. No puedo, teacher, no puedo. You can do it. I know that you can do it. Mr. Juan, show me that you can do it. The most important thing is that uh, all students learn English. All students learn English. Okay, very good job. Mr. Juan, a very good example. Well, my dear kids, tomorrow we're going to have these mini presentations about the timeline. Please okay. prepare them because that will be your final exam. I will see you tomorrow for your final oh, tomorrow. evaluation and the final. Ah, the conversation. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye. Bring bye. sandwiches bye. tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Mañana de particular. <laughs> bye. Please. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Take care.